guys, welcome back. It has been a rather uneventful week here, but I'm trying to get back to regular vlogs, so I'm kind of going to jump into just like a barn vlog today. I'm doing some spring cleaning to try to catch up and clean up the barn, and I wanted to fill you guys in on Z because we kind of had a rough week, so let's kind of jump right in. As you may be able to see by my slew of wraps and medications, um, it's been an interesting week. But I'm just gonna get a couple, I'm gonna get him started to beamer and then I'm gonna jump into uh, finishing a couple chores before I catch you guys up on what's been going on with him. The short version is I knew he was due for some of his arthritic injections and maintenance, uh, but he started acting really aggressive towards me this week and very much not himself. So I had the bed out and it would appear that he has a pretty bad Lyme infection. So <laughs> we're treating that and I'm trying to give him a little bit of downtime because um, he is not an aggressive horse and he was like wanting to lunge at me in the stall and just be like really, um, and he was just really unhappy. So I'm trying to give him some quiet time. And uh, he stayed in last night because with all of the sensitivity and pain in his body from the Lyme, he uh, seemed to be um, really tired from the overnight turnout. So. Uh, then he also cut his leg open. I'm kind of just diving in, even though I said we'd get back to this. Um, he cut his leg open. I made a doctor that yesterday, and I'm giving him meds orally. So it's just been a lot of fun. It's been a long week for us. But that's such a typical day in my life, so I wouldn't expect anything less. If you own a horse, you know all about this. So um, we live in... I'm trying to get to the camera angle better. It's a little wonky right now. Maybe that's better. We live in New England, so if you live pretty much anywhere on the East Coast of the United States, you know about Lyme disease. And I did have them tested in the fall, but we've had a rather warm winter here with minimal snow. It did snow this week, but minimal snow. So we're kind of in a weird place uh, where the ticks are still out and um, my dogs had tick-borne illnesses, my horses have had tick-borne illnesses. Um, I'm grateful I have not gotten anything tick-related, but it's a really big problem with the animals up here. So if you live uh, in an area of the United States where you deal with that, then you know how frustrating that can be and how kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, erratic their behavior can be. Um, like I said, I don't know where he became very aggressive and painful to touch anywhere on his skin. You know, I would just touch his neck and he was like really reactive. Um, and then the last couple days before the vet came, uh, when I got on him, he didn't even like want to go for a walk. He was just like planting his feet and like angry and I had the body worker out too. So it's just been a long week for us. He's currently he was just spooking at somebody riding. He's so silly. Anyways, that's kind of to catch you guys up on him. I'm kind of babying him and coddling him and medicating him and working with the vet over the next couple weeks. It's just Smith, buddy. Uh, to get him back into a happy place and uh, riding again. Uh, thankfully, the vet says his top line and his muscle and everything else looks really great. So we're on the road to the right place and getting ready for the season, but he just needs a little bit of doxy to get that lime out of his system. Hi, can you over? Hey. You're okay. Hey. See what I'm talking about? So I got this new wound care stuff that I kept seeing on Instagram that sounded really nice. As I have spoken about before, Z has some ongoing fetlock wounds. 
and then he actually cut his hind leg the other day. And so far, this stuff is working really super. It's called Zerosil. His fetlock wounds have very much so healed and he's able to go out without standing wraps now. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So, um, that's great news and I really like this product. I uh, went out a lot. <laughs> I went out on a limb buying it because you can only buy it from this company specifically and it was kind of expensive, but it definitely seems to be working, so I highly recommend um, if you are someone who deals with wounds often, this has definitely been helping. I also will try to do like a before and after of his leg wound. Actually. Let's see if we can unwrap it right now. Oh wow, hi. Sorry. Oh my god, wow. So this was all bloody and gross yesterday and I cleaned with a betadine scrub. And this is day two. So considering how good it looks after only one application of this stuff, I don't know, I'm a big fan. Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> moving on. I am going to recover slash doctor that wound and wrap his hind legs and put him out for the day since he was in last night. So I don't need to rewash this because it was covered last night. I thought you might do that. Silly. You're okay. Okay. The key is to get the bandage on before he has the chance to flinch around. I'm just putting on some loose elasticon over it to kind of keep that on and to keep it covered. I don't know if you can see me. Um, to keep this area kind of covered from, um, unfortunately they're out in the mud right now. So hopefully I might put one more little piece like right down here, uh, but that way hopefully it can heal. I don't, I don't know if this will work, but I'm trying it. And honestly, I don't know if it's worth it to wrap his legs. I'm trying to decide if I want to dirty standing wraps in the mud. <laughs> front legs normally to go out because I got these cute little fetlock boots um, which I will show you guys in a second I have no idea if this wound stuff helps the hair grow back where there was wounds but I've been trying it so these are his fetlock boots they're really dirty right now I don't know if I've shown you guys them before on like this and that way they kind of protect those areas since he kind of gets down with his legs funny when he lays down to roll and stuff I'm just trying to get to a point where I'm not wrapping him in standing wraps all the time so this is my new solution. Also working on strengthening these hooves in this terrible soft footed weather. I need to, someone recommended turpentine mixture. Need to look into that. Ask my farrier what he thinks. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna dress him to go outside and then I have some chores to do. I feel like I'm constantly checking the weather at this rate. Richard's been a little four-year-old naughty lately. Oh, I'm so, so, so. I've been really trying to make myself drink more water during the day in preparation for the summer heat, but I'm not doing a very good job at it. Night. you guys some days I don't even know where the day goes because suddenly I'm feeding horses and turning horses out and like the day is over so I'm just trying to uh, do evening barn chores now and um, <laughs> that was like the whole barn vlog for today at least I got to catch you guys up on Z things get a little crazy around here at uh, this point in the day and it's a weekend day it's Saturday so all of that being said let's close down the barn just lunged Richie in the indoor, so I was giving him a few minutes to cool down before I put his blankets on and put him outside. I wasn't sure if you guys could see me putting on blankets at this angle, but hey, I kind of like it. Richie's pretty tall though. He has to be close to 17 hands now. He really towers over me at five foot. Okay. Hi. Do you want to say hello to your fans? Do you want to tell them that you were naughty this week? He was actually pretty good today, though. I'm going to go bring Goose in, and then I can put him outside. <laughs> you can't really see me at this angle, huh? Hello. Anyways, that kind of wraps things up for today. I'm throwing some hay. I'm trying to take you guys along with me, but I'm not doing a very good job. Anyways, thanks so much for sticking around for this vlog. It was all over the place and mostly just about Z. And uh, thank you for sticking with me through the winter. I definitely started to slack on my vlogging, but I'm gonna get back to it. I'm working on it. Back to two a week. And uh, so stay tuned. If you guys like my videos, please make sure that you hit the like, thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out tremendously, especially um, when I'm slacking. And it's especially fun for me when you guys write in the comments. So make sure you say hello and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.